because I've been very interested to play the games in that. Hello! Hello, everyone. Nice to be back. I, uh, man. Been a couple days. Only a couple days, though. Had a nice little mini vacation. Noodle and I went to the zoo, walked around the city for a little bit. It was a lot of fun, but I am back and ready to play some video games on the gauntlet, man. Uh, specifically The Hobbit, I guess. That's what the random number generator selected for us, so that is what we're gonna play. I guess square is what we need to hit there to go back. It's a weird button to go back, but it works, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I do know a tiny bit about this game, but only a tiny bit, because I watched somebody do like a speed run thing on this right like talking about the speed runs and how it got to where we're at today stuff like that was a respected hobbit he lived a comfortable life and never had any adventures so bilbo was rather surprised when gandalf the wizard invited him on a great adventure he politely declined but not before accidentally inviting gandalf to tea the next day Gandalf arrived with 13 hungry dwarves. They ate everything Bilbo had to offer, then sang sad songs and listened to their king, Thorin Oakenshield. Okay. On, we begin oh. the quest of the Lonely Mountain. They're not done yet. We will win back our ancient kingdom under the mountain. Claim our treasure and have revenge on the cursed dragon Smaug. King Thorin, you need a burglar to steal into Lonely Mountain. Here he is, Bilbo Baggins. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Excitable little fellow, but fierce as a dragon in a pinch. I'm assuming this was made before the movies. No, it couldn't have been made before the movies. The movies were made in what, like 2000 or whatever? Right? Right around there. And the PS2 didn't come out until 2001-ish. <clears throat> so I think this had to have been made after the, the movies were, which, I don't know, it's just weird seeing, like, the the characters look the way they do in the game because I've watched the, the movies so many times at this point. I just kind of automatically expect them to look like the characters in the movie, I guess. So that's a little odd, but nothing that we shouldn't be able to get used to. Where am I? Goblins attacking men and elves. What's this? Well, Baggins, you've dreamt your way into this. You will have to dream your way out. So wait, if he realizes he's in a dream, then why doesn't he just, like, make himself god or something, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I don't know if anybody out there has ever gone lucid, like, had a lucid dream before. But whenever you know you're in a dream, you can kind of, like, it doesn't work perfectly, at least not for me. But you can kind of, like, just make things happen as you see fit because it's your dream space, you know? So you can kind of like pick and choose what happens and, and what abilities you have, whatever, where you go, things like that. Like I said, it's not perfect, at least for me it's never been perfect. The few times I've gone lucid in my life, I've always, uh, it's been a little hit or miss on what I can and can't make happen. You know what I mean? The one thing I can seem to do pretty reliably is wake up and... <laughs> And when, a, when you're lucid dreaming, that's not always what you want to do, to be honest, because it's actually kind of sick, man. Sick as hell. So I assume there's, like, probably some way to, to defeat these dudes with the with the, the shields a little bit better. Is, it, is the jump attack, like, how we're supposed to do it? Uh, okay, we also have rocks. So we can throw rocks. I don't really know... I don't really know what the point of that is. And then we have a stick. I can I can beat you with a stick. Does that does stick beat shield maybe? Is that how we're supposed to go about that? I don't I don't really get it to be honest with you. Why why use a stick when we have that thing? You know, the the this sword. Does that sting? 
Hey, Nate, what's up, man? Happy to see you here, bud. I'm assuming this, like, this stuff has other uses other than just weapons, you know? Like, I guess the rock does do some damage. Not very much. Is that little, like, triangle thing over the head the, uh, their health bars? Maybe you can use it to, like, stun people. Regardless, it's got a little bit of range. I still just don't understand the stick. Unless maybe we can use it as some sort of, like, jump thing, you know? Huh. Yeah, I'm not really sure, TBH. That one's got me a little confused. But I'm sure it'll tell us everything we need to know soon enough. Twitch, you have failed me. <laughs> hey, Rue, nice to see you, man. Welcome. Welcome. It's been a couple days, guys. Uh, this game is horribly broken, so I'm just trying to see if I can get up here. I feel like it's probably possible, but I don't know any of the speedrun tricks. I did watch a video on how people just completely destroyed this game, which is... Uh, it was a lot of fun. I forget who made the video, but it was well worth a fight. Did I say fight? Watch? I don't remember what I said. Uh, wake up. That's our main goal. Okay. <laughs> Fight the goblins. We can do that. We have a bunch of potential items, but it looks like most of them are empty right now. Skeleton D bypasses difficult traps on chest. Jump attack to do increased damage as well as knock back more enemies around you. Chain three attacks together for a quicker strike. Press, hold, and release the square button for a powerful spin attack. And that's true for both of those. Okay. Oh, and jump attacks do break enemy shields. Good. That's kind of what we wanted to know, actually. So, that's useful. Items. None. Dope. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming, yeah, we probably aren't trying to fight the humans. Uh, Die, big bros, die. I mean, this is a dream. I don't think we can really die in here. So, yeah, we might as well just blow shit up and destroy everything, right? Fuck it. What do you got? Always fight the humans? Uh, I don't think that's always the case, man. I don't know. I mean, I'm no I'm no expert here, but I, I don't think that's the plan. Or the, the best course of action, you know what I mean? I could be wrong. You know, that's perfectly possible. How was the trip? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. We were tired, of course, but we knew that was going to happen because of the timing of everything but it was good we went to the to the zoo we saw a lot of animals of course at the zoo we got pictures and, and videos and stuff of that uh saw a lot of fish the fish were pretty cool <laughs> um we also got a rock walk around the city which is just something that uh we've <clears throat> neither one of us have ever really got the chance to do before we've both been to to pittsburgh before the city that we uh took a trip to um but we've never like I said, we never got the chance to just kind of walk around it, so that was kind of interesting. Um, got to see a guy a peeing off of a, a uh, front stoop, but you know? What an adventure. And it was like a nicer looking building that he was peeing off of, too. It was really weird. Noodle didn't notice. I saw, when we came around the corner, I just saw, like, squirting water. Hey, thank you for the five bits, Noodle, and also welcome. Explore caves. Um, I just saw, like, some water squirting and didn't think anything of it until we got a little bit closer and I could see around the the like pillars or whatever were on the front of the building and then i just see a guy standing there with a, a hand near his dick thankfully once he saw us he stopped peeing and uh he just kind of said like uh oh or something like that <laughs> i just didn't pay it no mind i pulled noodle over a little bit so she didn't like walk through the pee on the ground and uh yeah <laughs> so that was interesting but uh, other than that, it was fun. It, it was it was good. I mean, even that was kind of funny to me. Um, but yeah. Surprising number of uh, homeless people, which really sucked to, to see, you know? That was kind of sad for both of us. Because, you know, little tiny town like we live in, I'm sure there are some, but you don't really see them or anything like that. In the city, like, they were all over the place, especially later at night whenever we went to get food. Like, yeah, they were all over the place. You almost stepped in pee, you almost stepped in pee. Now you'll just have to walk to the Green Dragon Inn. 
The dwarves are waiting. Green dragon no in. Time for it. And no time to pack. Just fetch your walking stick. That's all we get? Just a walking stick? That's all we get to take with us? Trash. Ew, yeah. <laughs> kind of gross. You didn't tell me that? Well, I mean, I told you that he was, like, peeing off the, the stoop there. Like, and we were walking on the sidewalk, so, like, yeah. Press the start button to check the quest log. The quest log will tell you what to do next. Okay. Cool. Meet the dwarves, find a walking stick. In that order, shouldn't we do it, like, the other way around, maybe? As you pick up courage points, Bilbo's courage meter increases. When Bilbo's courage meter is full, he gains a new unit of health. Courage points can be found in all sorts of hidden places. Explore the land carefully to find them all. Interesting. Okay, so that's just like a little collectible thing for us to get. Got it. You fucked up so bad? What happened, Drew? Yeah, how'd you fuck up so bad, man? I like the little like PNG there in the background or JPEG, whatever the hell. Does it have layers? It might actually be somewhat modeled. Nah, I think it's just a picture. It's hard to say. I'm not sure. It looks nice, though. Also, we're stuck on geometry. <laughs> that, was, that was good. Good stuff. <laughs> this game is, like, absolutely broken. Was I wanting to drink the water on the freeze? I mean, eventually. I don't need to right this second, but yeah. The dwarves at the Green Dragon Inn. Off you go, Mr. Baggins. Do you think you used it in order to connect your headphones so the desktop got dropped in your tea? No, why would you do that? <laughs> You're not supposed to put that in your tea, man. Just tea, oh, maybe sugar and cream or something, you know? Hobbiton. Lord. No, I mean, with uh, cables like that, though, generally they're fine. You just gotta dry it out. Ooh. That, uh... That frame rate felt weird there for a moment. Or how do you, how do you pronounce GIF? GIF. I don't know. I, whatever comes to mind first, I guess. <laughs> GIF. That's how I. That's how I pronounce it, man. <laughs> now, honestly, it's just however comes to mind first, I guess. I don't really have like a set way of saying it. It's like uh, caramel or caramel. I think I tend to say caramel more than caramel. Um, but yeah, honestly, it's just whatever ends up coming to mind first is how I end up saying it. thinking about Aurora too. That's the worst part. It's a USB connector. Again, it should be fine, though, as long as it dries out, you know? You'll just have to make sure it's completely dry before you plug it back into your computer or anything. Sailed through the air and went right down a rabbit hole. Well, that's where we got the game of golf. Mm-hmm. So I've heard. Ah, Aurora too. I wish you young people knew more of your histories. Hmm. Me too, man. Honestly, it'd be cool to get more books in this universe. You know, like, obviously J.R.R. Tolkien's kind of gone at this point. And he has a lot of unpublished works. And I know his son, I believe it was, like, finished some of them. And uh, what he thought his dad would have done or, or in a, a decent manner or whatever. But, like, it'd be cool just to have some new original stuff. Whether it's from his son or, or just someone else that they allow to write books. Uh, of course, we are getting that Netflix series, which that should be pretty... Or not Netflix, that uh, Amazon series, which that should be pretty nice, right? And that some new stories that I don't know if it's uh, if ever been told or not. Forget if it's set in the first or second age. I think set in the second. Look for silver pennies as you explore Middle Earth. You can buy potions and supplies at the end. Okay. Also, I want to go to the options real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, I would like to horizontal invert. Please and thank you. Uh, did that not horizontal invert? Or am I dumb and it was already the way? No, it didn't save. I must not hit accept. My bad. There we go. That's better. Is there any point in talking to all these people? Do they give us anything? Gammer? Good day, Gammer. I seem to have lost my quilting needle somewhere in town. If you find it, could you please bring it to me? Certainly, Gamma. Aren't we supposed to be going somewhere there, Bilbo? Not searching for uh, quilting needles and things? It's almost noon, and I've only had two breakfasts. There's a lovely seed cake cooling in my windowsill. Seed cake? A morsel before lunch. Is that like uh, another name for a 
like a, a bread, uh, a whole whole wheat, whole grain bread or something like that, a seed cake. Pick up objects by walking near them and pressing the square button. Drop them by pressing the square button again. I mean, why? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. Is there a reason for us to carry around the, the butter churning thing there? I don't... Maybe that's what you want. I didn't talk to you, did I? Maybe you're, like, too lazy to go and get your butter churner? I saw your visitor. Are you meddling with wizards? I would never. Wizards are meddling with me. Another lad going off into the blue for mad adventures. You might as well be some use before you go. Fetch my butter churn, please. Where is it? <laughs> it's in the shed round the corner. Yeah, she really just was just too lazy to get her own butter churning thing. Awesome. Sure, lady, we, we can just walk around to your shed to get your butter churn to bring it over to you. Instead of you just, like, maybe churning your butter in the shed or something, you know? Like, there you go. Why am I standing on top of it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the tea cakes, though. Watch out for that wizard. <laughs> we need a lot of food I don't... Now, Jenny. Oh Lord Almighty, this game is is absolutely broken, man. I mean, like, okay. So when I say broken, though, as far as I'm aware, the game functions at least. It's just there's a lot of glitches that uh, make it possible to do things that maybe the developers didn't necessarily intend on being uh, possible. That's that's all, you know. <laughs> Hello, you. Wandering around town. Did you see him? Something oh, I saw him all right. He tucked it into his belt. And he was dressed so outlandishly. He must have gotten lost on his way to Bree. Yeah, yep, yeah, sure. That's that's totally what happened. He got lost on his way to Bree. He didn't he didn't come to see me or anything like that. Nope. I'm a respectable dwar or dwarf or <laughs> dwarf. Respectable hobbit with absolutely no adventures going on at all. We enter other people's homes. No time for that. I need to go meet the dwarves at the I guess not. Dragon Inn. I love how it's like he's saying that we have no time to to do stuff like that. Like to even go in a room in our own house, we had no time for. But we can fetch Hannah's butter churn no and look for Gammer's uh, quilting needle and shit. Like, <laughs> uh. How do we have time to search for all this shit, but not time to just check the room in our house, you know what I mean? Uh, is there a way for us to jump farther? Or maybe we can just jump, we can probably just jump to there from there, I suppose, huh? Yep, okay, well, there we go. That was a terrible jump. That was <laughs> that was absolute trash. That that's all on me though, hundred percent on me. You're tired and cold, Noodle. Well, I mean, you can turn the heat up a little bit if you're cold. Uh, as for the tired, I mean, I guess take a nap maybe. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you there, love. I'm sorry you're tired and cold though. I hope uh, I hope you start to feel better. Can we... How do we get up there? Press the square button to grab a block, then use the left analog stick to push, pull, and slide. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's how we're supposed to get up there? We what? We just push this over here, and then... Is that enough? Can we grab onto ledges or something? Because I feel like that's still not high enough to, to get all the way up there. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. We can grab ledges. Dope. Uh, how do we go up though that's weird i expected it to be like press x again or something i guess we just hit the up button you have a stat assignment you should be working on but god's the teacher talks too slow like you can legit go 1.5 speed and he still sounds normal on top of that the video he posted is an hour long he doesn't tell us how to do the assignment until halfway in that's insane man i uh i do that with youtube videos all the time put people on like one and a half two times speed just to help me get through them faster because i watch like a lot of youtube stuff so like yeah <laughs> it's helpful to just get through them more quickly that nap yesterday was probably the best nap you've had in forever what the fuck is the hobbit 
Rue's confused. The Hobbit is the uh, the prequel to Lord of the Rings. Sorry, Lord of the Rings was the the second in the series, and uh, the Hobbit was was first from from J.R.R. Tolkien. So like, uh, it's it's this it's a story about. <laughs> About uh, Mr. Bilbo Baggins and the dwarves trying to reclaim the dwarves' homeland, uh, or one of their their big forts, fortresses, fortresses, whatever. Um, and yeah, I mean that's that's all really. <laughs> it's just a beautiful little fantasy story set in the the Lord of the Rings universe. There's a fucking prequel to the series, yes. Yes, there is. And it is this. <laughs> <clears throat> then it messes with my profile when I use the TV? What do you mean? Did I miss something? What messes with your profile when you use the TV? Profile on what? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Why is a hobbit helping them and was... The wizard dude Gandalf then? Yes, the wizard dude was Gandalf. And uh, the hobbit dude is helping them basically because Gandalf wanted him to. Um, but also because hobbits are exceptionally good at not being seen when they don't want to be seen. So they uh, so they, they figured he would be a good option to go in and steal a specific item from their 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 fortress from the the dragon that's protecting it what are you doing don't worry about it old man makes your vi youtube videos go 1.5 speed when you change the oh yeah 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 i gotcha yeah when i set it to 1.5 it sets hers to 1.5 because we have uh like on the tv i see what you're saying i gotcha uh invisible walls for the win cool <laughs> I hate invisible walls, man. They're annoying as shit. Time for that. I, need to go meet the dwarves at the I understand the them, like why they're a thing in video games, but I hate them nonetheless. Just let me go and do what I want to go and do, you know? Go where I want to go, do what I want to do. You were so confused one day, I was like, why is she talking so fast? She decided that uh, her videos don't need to be as long as they are, but she still wanted to say all the shit that she was trying to say. So, you know, she just sped it up for you. I think I kind of just said no, children. Children. Can we go in the water, or is water death? We can swim. Okay, kind of. I don't know if we can swim, per se, or if we can just wade through the <laughs> the water. The bridge is out. What I need to get to the other the side. The bridge is out. I could fix it, but I'll need my hammer and nails. Fetch me hammer. I saw Carl playing with it up by the Jesus, man. There are some jars in the mill. You'll have to break them open to get the nails. Bring back me hammer and nails, and I'll fix the bridge. This town is full of, like, the laziest people I've ever met. Like, you're obviously the the town handyman or whatever here, right? You got, like, the box. You got the wood. Your name is Sandy Man. That's, that's almost like Handyman. So why the hell aren't you just already working on the bridge? And why are you letting that child just, like, steal your, steal your shit, man? Like, <laughs> is, it, is it your child? Is that why he's got your shit? Or... Is it just some random hoodlum? Some random child going around stealing hammers here? I don't really know what's going on. Oh, bro, can we just like walk around this fence? I was wondering how we got over here to get the other stuff. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess that works. Just walk around. Hello, are you one of the, the children? Will you, though, Hilda? I doubt it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, we can go to the other side. Can I just, like, wade over instead of getting the bridge fixed? Or just 
walk down this side. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure, Mr. Bilbo, you may not be the most, like, acrobatic, the most athletic person in the world, but I'm pretty sure even you could, like, climb this fence right here to get to the other side instead of going on that huge-ass adventure to uh, just get a hammer, you know what I mean? You keep talking about how you need to meet the dwarves, yet you seem to be uh, taking your sweet time getting there. That's all I'm saying. It's almost like you don't really want to go meet the dwarves. How do I get up here to this section? Oh, that's an invisible wall. What? Is there not, like... I guess there's nothing really up here for me, so... They just have it blocked off, but, like, why, you know? <laughs> like, what's the point of having that one little section blocked off? Why not just let people walk up there? I don't understand. <laughs> it's... It's just a piece of ground. Yeah, there's not even, like, anything there that would need blocked off. It's not like it's a story progression thing or anything like that, as far as I can tell. Nope. No wizards around here. Your place. I hope he isn't causing any trouble with his dangerous fireworks and putting spells on the crops. Those fireworks are fucking dope, lady. Okay, you're annoying as shit. Goodbye. <laughs> Where are the rest of the children? Are they all gonna be around here or did they go across the bridge or up that other area or some shit? Lady, how about you fuck off? Yeah, basically. Oh, we still need to figure out how to get there, too. Oh, is the gate open? Jesus, I'm blind, man. I completely missed this earlier. <laughs> I've been wondering this whole time how we get up to this area that I saw whenever we were uh, exploring right outside our house. Turns out you just walk through the fucking gate. You find me? I mean, you're kind of standing right out in the open, child. That's how I found you. You're not even really hiding. You just, like, walked to the end of this path and got tired and stopped going anywhere or something. Like, sure. This seems like a good hiding spot. I'll just stand here in the middle of this road. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Yes, yes. You've only had two breakfasts. I gotcha. Wait, is that... Can we slide... Oh, we can do, like, a little vault. Okay, that seems like some decent info to have. Do these things respawn? They must respawn, because we went around here and collected all this shit already once. I made sure to hit, like, every fucking bush, man. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that these gems re... respawn. I don't know what the purpose is of them, though, so, like... It doesn't seem like they're the money, because that's the, the silver shit down in the bottom right, right? I think so. Is it... Are those the courage things that we were told about earlier on? Where if we get so many of them, our health bar increases? But if that's the case, why would they respawn? Because then it would, uh... You could just, like, stay in one area and collect them over and over again. Unless they don't respawn and I just happen to miss a couple of them. That's impossible, though. There's no way that's what happened. I'm guessing we yeah there's an invisible wall dude you could totally go up there if you wanted to Bilbo look at that but you are jumping higher than this fence you you can go right over the fence bro hi there uh I would love to say hello but apparently I can't Look, you can... <laughs> Dude, you can climb up on this rock. Right there. Right there is the fucking gate. Just just jump over it. Just just go, Bilbo. Fine, whatever. Bilbo wants to be a bitch, then I guess that's fine. I have already forgotten how to do that jump thing. <laughs> like the, the vault with the pole. Respectable hobbits do discuss such things. 
Uh, maybe your children don't want to be respectable hobbits. Maybe they want to have some fun in their life, man. What's wrong with talking about dragons? Fucking invisible walls. I know, they're annoying as shit, dude. Uh, can I grab onto the rope? I can. Can I swing on the rope? Right stick does nothing. Square makes us fall. Okay. <laughs> so it's not it's not square to swing. There may not actually be a way to swing. I'm thinking we may just have to uh, jump off of it again, honestly. That's what it's looking like, what it's feeling like. It does seem like that blue bar is increasing a little bit as we collect this shit, so... Ah, fuck. Don't hit X to go up the ledge. I feel like it's basically every game ever. Whenever you're holding a ledge of something, you press X to go up. Not this one. This one, you just wait a minute while holding up. <laughs> I'll have to... I need to keep that in mind, man. Or we're going to end up, like, falling to our death at some point. Nails acquired. Cool. Uh, is there a way for me to get up there? Maybe if I climb the rope the rest of the way? And then... Can we can we do a little jumpy jump over to there? Uh, no. No, we cannot. <laughs> Can't jump that far. Got it. Bil Bilbo. Do you wanna do you wanna grab the thing, Bilbo? Good job. No, don't don't go over. We're not trying to shimmy our way around, we're trying to go up, man. This is a weird design for a building. Why are there all these random platforms? Why not just have a staircase maybe you know that <laughs> that sort of thing also that was a much easier way to get over here than how we did it the first time uh there's a child up here child how did you get up here what if we start on this side but we still can't go up any higher than this though okay that just yeah we just jumped straight to the ground also that hurt I, uh, I see now that it looks like we may have lost two health. I'm guessing one from each of those falls that we took. So I'm not going to attempt that again, because uh, we'll probably die if we do. So fuck you, child. You can stay up forever. Jesus, fuck that kid is tiny. Well, I mean, we are hobbits. They're like miniature people, right? Miniature people with really big feet. I'm hoping and assuming that we can swim in this deeper water too. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we can just jump from there to there. That wasn't even like a, a real platforming challenge or anything like that. Then that was just wading through some water. Now, oh, fuck. Okay. Nope. We can just jump up to this too. Well, look. I mean, it's the beginning of the game, right? The the platforming challenges they need to start out easy, give you something to work toward. Is it R1 now? How do I... How did I do the, the jumping thing that I was doing before with the stick? And how did I completely forget it already? We were just doing it a few minutes ago, man. I feel like I need to collect all the things. Also, this music, like, it sounds fine, but it doesn't sound like The Hobbit to me. Now, I'm expecting something a little more epic, I guess. Something a little more Lord of the Rings-esque. Or Kestrel. Instead, we have, like, an acoustic guitar. Which, <laughs> again, sounds good, don't get me wrong. But it's not exactly what I expect when I, uh... When I think of The Hobbit. Oh, fuck. This whole not pressing X thing to get up is gonna confuse the hell out of me. Nope. Don't press X. Just hold up. I can't see shit. Oh, we're holding onto a ledge. Okay. Up we go. Uh, sure. Save. Since we're about to die, I guess it's probably a pretty decent idea. Also, just as of note for anybody who may play this game in the future, this is uh, another one of those games that don't seem to work with the aftermarket memory card. Annoying. I had to uh, swap it out for the real one. 
not the end of the world, but it's just like, why? I guess there's some games. I just discovered this myself. Uh, other people have known about it. Um, but there are some games on the PS2 that are copy protected. Like, not the games, obviously those are. But like the uh, the memory card, the, the save games are copy protected. So you can't make copies of your save games. Or like a backup in case it accidentally gets deleted or corrupted or anything like that. There's not very many of them from what I've read, but there are a few. It's like, why, you know? Like, who cares? The PS2 was almost exclusively an offline console. There were some games online, and I guess maybe for those games it would make sense, depending on what all was, a uh, what all was online about it, you know? But, like, bruh. Who the fuck cares if I make a backup of my save? To this day, that shit still annoys me, though, to be honest with you. Like, I get it. Having having backups of games, especially where there's, like, trading and stuff of all involved, can lead to, you know, item duplication and, and cheating and online play and shit like that. But, bro, who cares? Like, <laughs> who cares if I cheat in my online game or if someone else cheats in their online game as long as it's not affecting anyone else like games with pvp and shit yeah that can be that can be a problem but when it's only about like your own enjoyment then what's it really matter man that's why i really like like cheat codes and shit that used to be in games all the time that shit was fun you know especially after you like completely beat a game once sometimes you just want to do something a little bit different and having cheat codes and, and glitches and shit like that is a uh, decent way to do it. I forget what all the games were that had that feature enabled. I think The Sims 2 or something like that was one of them. There were definitely others, but I don't remember what they all were. Though again, thankfully, like I said, there's not that many of them from what I've read. Only a handful. And you can see it if you're looking at the uh, PS2 memory card browser. Did I talk to that person up there? I don't remember if I actually talked to that child or not. And I feel like we probably need to. So I'm assuming, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that's the one with the hammer, right? Oh, fuck. Can I maybe jump to this log from here? No. Can I maybe jump to that rope from here? Probably not. Okay, fine, we'll go back around. Um, but anyways, yeah, from the memory card browser, there's like a file protection uh, box or something like that. And I was curious of what the hell that means, because I never really noticed it before, to be honest with you. And so I looked it up, and yeah, it's has to do with uh, save copy protection. Pardon me, Carl. Do you have your father's hammer? He needs it to fix the bridge. Here it is, Mr. Baggins. I'll have to find something else to play with. Who just plays with a hammer on a hill? What were you doing with it anyways? Were you, like, hammering that tree or something? I don't really... <laughs> what was the point there, child? Big jump. Uh, okay, good. It seems like if we fall into water, there's no fall damage, which is handy and makes sense, kind of. Ooh, do we get up there from here, from outside? Can I grab or just like jump up higher maybe? No. Oh, there's something on the ground though. Oh, a, a coin purse of stuff. You and the robot made it to a secret boss on Tiny Tina's. You dried, died right before you got to fight them, but got to spectate. That's pretty sick, man. I've yet to play Tiny Tina's, so <laughs> doesn't mean a whole lot to me, sadly, at least not yet. Uh, but I do plan on, on playing it someday. I just have no idea when. Sometime after it comes to Steam. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if it'll be, like, right away or if I'll, you know, just chill for a bit. It'll probably be a bit after, to be honest with you. You can stop getting stuck on collision if you like Bilbo. That's acceptable. <laughs> you got me. That was fun. Damn right we did Bell. Is that all the children? Help fix bridge, find hammer, retrieve gamer sewing needle. We never found that. 
Nope, there's one more child. Sadok. Sadok. Where the hell would Sadok be? If I were Sadok, <laughs> where would I be hiding? I honestly have no clue. I feel like we checked everywhere. Did we not? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe he's on the other side of the river somehow. Maybe he can climb fences even if we can't. <laughs> Similar to finding a cool boss on Borderlands. Well, yeah, no, I get it. I get what you're saying. I just, yeah. Obviously, I uh, haven't played the game, so I just... Yeah. You hate Kali Linux sometimes? That's fair. Honestly, hating any oh, Linux well, distro sometimes is completely uh, fair. <laughs> if you happen to find any provisions, bring them back to me. Got it, Bomber. Wait, aren't you supposed to be at the Green Dragon Inn or some shit? Not just hanging out here? I mean, I guess the inn's right here. Bravo. You made it in time. The others are waiting for you inside. When you are ready to leave Hobbiton, just open the door to the Green Dragon Inn. Got it. Uh, I feel like I should kind of find that last child. If I don't, they'll probably just be hidden forever. Stuck in, like, uh, hide-and-seek limbo. Can we break open these chests? Oh, uh, what? Uh... I guess this is like some sort of mini game. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't. <laughs> I'm I'm confused. We didn't get like a tutorial on how to fucking open these things, did we? Okay, so we don't hit it on the red. Okay, we hit it on the green. Okay, we got some spice. Uh, interesting. And sugar, cool. That's a uh, nice, I guess. I'm sure if we just asked whoever spice and sugar that was, they'd probably let us have some. You we didn't have to steal it from Lorella here. Father, but you have your mother's Turkish blood in you. Wait, what? What would we do? I don't, I don't know what we did, Lady Lorella. Do you mean because we accepted to go on this I adventure? <laughs> we were kind of forced into it, if anything. But, uh, thanks, I guess. Uh, red thing, please? Possible Steam release on April 30th? Really? That seems awfully quick. I mean, I'm not against it. I'm just surprised. Bruh, make friends with the crows. They'll bring you shiny things. I'll give you a sack of wheat if you get rid of those crows. Very well. Honestly, that's like one of my goals in life is to become friends with with crows. <laughs> to just befriend a bunch of them. I think that would be awesome. Give them little trinkets and they give me uh, shiny things and scare away my enemies and shit, you know? I thought I'd never get rid of those crows. Wheat sack acquired. Cool. But birds are scary. They're not scary. They're just birds, man. They can't hurt you. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Like, spread their wings at you? I don't... <laughs> I just, I don't understand why people are so scared of birds. It's like, not just you, but in general. You don't want to waste away, do you? Maybe I do. Going on a hunger strike. Collect berries from Hobart's garden. Press and hold the L1 button while walking to sneak. If Holbert sees you, know what? Rotten badges. Where is Holbert? Oh, he's over there. Which way? Which way are you going there, Holbert? Oh, oh, oh! He almost caught us. Or geese when they straight up chase you the berry patch. ain't nobody creeping around your berry patch Holbert <laughs> don't never catch me <laughs> they flap and peck at you oh, mr. Baggins, so good to stop by 
Sorry, I haven't come by to visit lately. I they're just like they're tiny little things though. You can just shoo them away. They ain't gonna <laughs> what are they gonna do? <clears throat> like if it's a, a whole flock of them all flapping and pecking at you, maybe it would be a bit much or whatever, but Oh wait, we got sent all the way back to our last save? Are you for real? Because I thought he would just kick us out of the fucking patch. I didn't realize it was gonna like game over us. What the fuck, bro? You do realize geese, ha geese have teeth? Oh no, I know. I know geese have teeth. We've uh, eaten geese before. <laughs> like, you know, raised them, fattened them up. Had a bit of uh, food with him. One of them bit my brother. One of my brothers. And uh, he took care of that one when the time came to <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> so, yeah. And I guess we're going back up here again. Yay. Me, hey. Carl. Kid, give me your har uh, your harmers, your father's hammer. Here it is, Mr. Baggins. I'll have to find something else. Damn straight you will, Carl. Health potion acquired. Dope. Uh, you're never going near a goose again. They're harmless. Like, yeah, they they can bite, but it's not like their bite is that powerful or anything like that. Like, it's not going to seriously hurt or maim you. It's just, it's just a goose. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you're actually being attacked by an animal, of course, never do this sort of thing. Otherwise, but if you're actually being attacked by an animal, like a bird, just fucking kick it, man. It's a bird. Like... <laughs> Obviously, never harm an animal if you can help it, but like, bruh. If it's biting you and you're seriously scared for your life, then like, dude, kick it. <laughs> like, I think that's the one time when it's acceptable to. Hey, child, why don't you tell me where the other dude is? The one that I can't seem to find. I guess we need to be a little more careful. I can't see. I really don't want to have to do all this shit over again. I guess that's a uh, good reason to save more often, too, though. Good luck. Good evening. Thankfully, we didn't actually do all that much. We just spent a lot of time trying to get up into that one section and fucking struggling with it. You can't hurt an animal? Okay, if the animal's hurting you, though, like, that's what I'm saying. Generally speaking, yeah, of course not. But, like, dude, there is an acceptable time to do such a thing. This is actually kind of hard, not gonna lie. Hitting these timing things, right? Well, okay, not that one, but <laughs> the other ones. I don't remember. Did you say anything? No, you didn't. You didn't have anything important to say. Uh, my timer's gone. Oh, okay, it's fine. We still got like ten minutes. I'm not trying to hit you, dude. Right, what else do we need? Why did you give me a shit ton of money if we still needed more? We need wheat, three berries, three eggs, and sausages. Okay, wheat. Three berries, eggs, three eggs, and sausage. Wheat, three berries, three eggs, sausages. Three berries, three eggs, sausages. We already know where to get the wheat. The wheat's super easy. All we gotta do for that is scare away some crows. And then I guess fucking save the game, because, like... <laughs> Just talking to this dude is enough to end the game for us. Like... Go away, birds. Not welcome in these fields. Thank you, Will. You're welcome. Where, oh, where is the save point? There it is. Who are you? Have we talked to you? You're looking a little thin. Oh, yeah, you're the one that just says we're looking thin. Okay, whatever, we don't care. 
You're making some pancakes? Hell yeah, dude. I do like me some pancakes. They are delicious after all. Pancakes are one of those things, I'm pretty sure I've said before, but one of those things, though, where, like, I go to eat some or make some, right? And I'm like, dude, pancakes sound amazing. So I end up making a bunch of them. And then I eat, like, one. And I'm like, bruh, I'm so fucking stuffed, I'll never be able to eat a pancake again. <laughs> like... Where is he? He's over there, okay. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky! Fucking run, bro. Alright, that's all we needed. Get the fuck out of here. See, we got the berries, so I thought we were fine if he kicked us out or whatever. That's why I just it let us get caught last time. I'm assuming all these chickens will have something to do with the egg. Oh, there's a little room over there. Maybe we get some eggs from the little chicken room. <laughs> that's what they call those, right? Chicken rooms? Oh, hi, child. Good at this game. How did you get across the river, man? Don't you know it's impossible to climb fences here? And there's no way you crossed after I fixed the bridge. Stay off the creaky board. Some surfaces make noise, even when Bilbo is sneaking. All right, just in case it, like game overs us again <laughs> i guess we'll do a quick save yes that's fine overwrite the shit i don't care you guys are making me hungry it's food time i feel that man honestly i'm pretty hungry myself i made a uh, meatless chili for dinner honestly Excuse me, I don't feel good today, like, at all. It's just, My head's just, like, I don't know, fucking weird. Like, dizzy, nauseous, kind of. It's strange. But anyways, uh, so I was hoping, like, eating some real food would help me feel a bit better. It didn't, really. Not moving is about the only thing that makes me feel better. I feel like it's probably, I think it might have something to do with my ear. One of my ears always gets clogged up. So I'm assuming I just get some, like, ear infection or something, and that's why this happens to me. Because it's not the first time that it's happened. That did game over us, didn't it? It fucking did, dude. <laughs> okay. I figured it would, but I just wanted to make sure. That face, though. One word, saltines. I mean, saltines are good for, like whenever you're sick, right? Like, nauseous kind of feeling, I guess. Like, it's a stomach sick, but, like, it's a head sick. So, I don't know, man. It's weird. But, like, I do get a little bit of nausea every now and then, but it seems more related to the fact that I feel almost dizzy than anything, you know? Like, uh, like I feel almost motion sick. Or, although I've never had seasickness, I imagine it uh, would be kind of like that. Hey, there's Gammer's Needle. Why the fuck? Uh, we got a needle in a haystack. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, you catch my drift now? Kind of like that. I don't really know. It happens to me every once in a while. Like I said, I think it might be an ear infection or something. It's the only thing I can really think of. We still need a few provisions before we can go. Wait, what else do we need? Oh, we need sausages. That's right. Okay. Uh, so maybe Gammer will give us the sausages for getting her needle? Maybe? Ow, my neck. Sitting on the train for so long, man. Don't get me wrong. I love trains, and it was great. It was a great ride uh, on the train. The only problem was it was at night, so like we couldn't see shit, which kind of sucked. Other than that, though, it was great. Uh, but I spent most of the time looking out the window. And uh, now if I turn my head too far to the right, it kind of hurts a little bit. It's my own fault, I suppose. I don't know if this vaulting is actually faster or not. 
It's like in some games, you know, where, where there's a dodge roll and you just dodge roll fucking everywhere. I never know if that stuff's actually faster, but it just feels right to do so. <laughs> Are they, though? I'll be the judge of that gammer. <laughs> it should be enough food for the afternoon. I feel that, man. Three eggs, some sausages, a bag of wheat. Uh, what else did we get? Three berries? Like, the three berries part kind of kills me. Shouldn't it be like three cups of berries or, or three satchels of berries? Three individual berries is not really food. Like, that's not even a snack. That's a taste. <laughs> there you go, Bomber. Perhaps you'll be some use to us after all. Now get in. Oh, really? Now I'll be of use to you? Because I got you your damn food? Use the save pedestal to save your progress. Game. Look, I know I'm stupid, but I know how to save. We've been over this. Really. I've done it, like, multiple times. You don't have to tell me how to save. Alright, before we go in the room, though, I guess it's as good as time as any to go ahead and take our short break, man. So we're just going to take a short break to get rid of the pesky pre-roll ads as well as give myself and you guys a chance to stand up, get a drink, do whatever it is you need to do. And then we'll be right back with a little bit more of a chill Hobbit stream thing. <laughs> be right back, guys. Gotten to, you know? And again, Fable 1 and 3 are both on PC, so that's no problem. I can play those easily enough, but... But two, I'm kind of stuck with, or stuck, stuck without, I guess, is more like it. Yeah, so with these guys here, we can just kind of throw a bomb at them and kill them easily enough, or we can just kind of crouch and throw a wrench at them. A couple wrench hits will take them out real, real nice as well. The bombs, though, obviously do a bit of a better job. They pack a bit more punch than, than just hitting them with a wrench does. <laughs> I don't know how far anybody else has ever gotten into this game outside of myself or Nate, I'm sure, since he said that he's played a fair bit of it. But the game gets a bit wacky the farther you go along. There's some wacky weapons and situations. And the developers always kind of have some fun with the names of the games and whatnot, too. Like, this one's just called Ratchet and Clank. But then later on in the series, they have stuff like Up Your Arsenal and stuff like that. That's, uh... <laughs> like I said, they just like to have a bit of fun with it. A little bit of childish humor, maybe, but not complaining. Interesting. Yay! You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... Hello, citizens. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you? might ask using highly sophisticated technology which you couldn't possibly understand we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one unfortunately this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas but of course sacrifices must be made <laughs> thank you for your cooperation and if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? <laughs> oh, turn it off, you idiot! So a, lot, a lot of fun little humor here in the Ratchet and Clank games. The people on those planets are hoes. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this info box, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? 
Talking, talking, talking. talking. Ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. All right. They done now? Okay. Hello. We are back. And we're about to enter the Green Dragon Inn. Let's go, boy. It's about time you arrived, Mr. Baggins. How this place looks tiny. How are we going to fit? How many dwarves was it? Snow White and the Seven Dwarves or something? Uh, <laughs> how are we going to fit all of them, the Bilbo and potentially the wizard in here? Like, wait, what? We, there were 1,400 courage points. So that must be what all those little things were. We did all 23 quests, though. Got all the chests. Got uh, almost all the silver pennies. Oh, there's a vendor. Is this in between every level? Use these to bypass trapped chests. That could be cool. Cures all poisons. Uh, waters of vigor. Heals all wounds and cures all poisons. Temporary protection against damage. Very cool. Increase the carrying capacity of your rock bag. Medicine chest upgrade. Increase the carrying capacity of your medicine chest. I mean, these things could be helpful and all, but like... Permanently gain one health bubble? Dude, that sounds dope. Uh, yeah, no, we're good. We don't need to buy anything right now. He regretted leaving home almost immediately. In the dangerous Lonelands, they found themselves cold, wet, and low on food. Suddenly, Barleen noticed the light of a fire. Thorin sent their new burglar, Bilbo, to investigate. Roast mutton. Bruh. Food. <laughs> it's, it's all about food. That's basically what the entire game's gonna be about, man. It's just it's just our journey to to get all kinds of interesting foods from across the land. And the the final goal is to get some nice like dragon breasts, you know? And not like rule rule, rule thirty four dragon breasts, you know. I mean like meat guys, come on. Don't be don't be weird about it. <laughs> These loading times are kind of shit, eh? Although, maybe my disc. My disc may be dirty or something. I don't know. I didn't really take a good look at it. I just threw it in, to be honest with you. Uh, okay. So, hi, people. Do you want to talk? Me neither, Bofer. The Witch King mined and tunneled these lands many years ago. Their gear is still scattered about. Uh, shouldn't we collect it, then? The lowlands are different than your kindly shire crop. Some of these leaves have teeth. Oh, <laughs> leaves with teeth, my favorite. <laughs> I wish you'd bungle us a nice hot dinner. I'm starving. Isn't that what all of Middle Earth's about? The whole LOTR was a quest for food, essentially, man, yeah. After one of our ponies and they were searching for the, the one ring of uh, amazing sausages, right? Like, that's what they were looking for, I think. That's what I got from the, the movies and books and all that shit, at least. <laughs> I don't... That's not very nice, man. <laughs> ah, it's rain. I'm catching cold. Could you please bring me a Burberry plant? Oh, the ring was just a side quest? That might make sense. Although, I, a good ring of sausages sounds good. A good ring of sausages sounds good. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, a burberry plant, eh? So what the hell does a burberry plant look like? I'm assuming it'll have berries and it'll have burrs. Ouch. That's about all I'm that's about all I got. Scuttle off and investigate that fire hut. See if it's safe. Whoa. Ad break time? Uh up? it already happened, man. <laughs> you, you missed the ad break. The ad break happened about five minutes ago. Um, you're back with nachos? Hell yeah, dude. Nachos sound really good. Nachos with meat and refried beans and, uh, bro, I'm fucking, I'm getting hungry. Like, I literally just ate right before the stream started, but y'all are making me hungry again. Also, hi there, plant. Um, where, why, why can't I use my walking stick? Like, it's selected. You can see down the bottom left-hand corner, it's selected. I'm, I guess that must be another glitch in the game, or... Yeah, yeah, that must be a glitch. 
All right, plant. Now you've done it. Die. <laughs> Die to my walking stick, you plant. Did you really, though, or are you lying? No, I really did. I mean, yeah, that's... <laughs> Most wolves aren't very friendly. I think that's uh, I think that's a given there, man. Is there, like, a lock-on button or something? That would make it a lot easier to, to fight these things. There we go. I mean, he's dead. We're almost dead in the process, though. We really need a to be a little bit more careful when fighting shit, I suppose. Especially wolves. Unless they're friendly Shire Hounds, then I guess uh, then I guess it's okay. Oh, that's a shadow. I thought that was a hole in the rock. I'm not going to lie. When you go grocery shopping, you're going to pick out some things to cook from the D&D &D cookbook? Dude, that sounds awesome. Do it. Definitely do it. I still think we all need to get together, play D&D, &D, and eat D&D &D food one of these days. That'd be a lot of fun, too. Hmm. I see if there's a way to get up there. I'm sure there will be eventually, but we probably got to go all the way around for it. Got to go the slow way. Oh, hi. There's a bunch of wolves now. We're dead. We're fucking dead. <laughs> Are we supposed to... Are we like, do we need to like sneak around the wolves or some too, or some shit? Or like, I guess we probably just need to get good, eh? All right, everybody else had useless shit to say except for you. You gave us a quest. You want us to get burberries, so. Uh, also, weapon, please. Thank you. Uh, I think that was everything, right? I think so. You cook a damn feast from the book? I mean, a damn feast is damn fine for me. Or with me? I don't know. <laughs> food. That's that's all I'm saying. Food good. I like food. Where did this wolf come from that attacked us when we were down here? A wolf? He certainly doesn't look as friendly as our Shire hounds. Where? though like you're saying a wolf but i don't see the wolf am i just completely fucking blind oh he's there he's behind the thing then how did he spot us can i kill him with a rock probably not oh it did kill him one rock really okay so the rocks must be much stronger than our stick <laughs> Which is, you know what, fair, honestly. Getting hit with a with a rock would probably hurt more. Well, actually, now that I say that, probably not, man. Getting hit with a walking stick would probably hurt pretty fucking bad. We're gonna run out of rocks. I think I don't think we can throw that far, sadly. What if we sneak up on them though? One was bad enough. I agree. Oh, nope. Okay. No sneaking up on him. Ah, oh, bruh. So much easier this time. Maybe. If I could fucking hit him. Did he regain health? Apple cider vinegar is great when you're sick. I need to get double checked to make sure I can drink apple cider vinegar. Or just have apples in general. I think it's a fructose thing. I've said it before on stream, but I don't remember if you were here. Um, but, uh, never had problems with apples my whole life, and then suddenly, every time I ate apples for, like, a month, I would get terrible stomach pains for, like, 24 hours afterwards. Uh, so I don't think it's an allergy thing. I think it's just a fructose thing, which means that apple cider vinegar would be just fine to have. Um, but... To be safe, I haven't uh, had any apple cider vinegar or apples since it started happening. And since I realized that it was apples. Because at first I didn't realize it was apples, right? And I just kept eating the shit because I love apples. Um, but slowly it became obvious that, hey, every single time I eat an apple, like every time I get these stomach aches, I eat an apple right beforehand. Like, <laughs> so <laughs> I, had to, I had to stop with it. Which really sucks because apple cider vinegar is my favorite kind of vinegar. Like, by far, my favorite kind of vinegar. Shit tastes fantastic. Also, Bilbo, 
Hit the fucking plant, you bitch. <laughs> All right, so how do we use the potion? I see the potion up there. Down, up, okay. Oh. Okay, I think down might have used it. I'm not sure, but whatever. We used it, and uh, we're healed up now. That's all that really matters. Uh, why can't I pick up the mushrooms? Is my, like, mushroom pouch filled? I don't... Or are those... Healing mushrooms. Hi, you. Uh, would, would you like to say something? Those ledges look Ballin. treacherous, Bilbo. If they're too far apart, use your walking stick to help you jump. Good luck, Bilbo. Thanks, man. I appreciate the tip. Some jumps are too far to make without help. Use your walking stick to jump further than normal. First, equip your walking stick by pressing left. Then you'll need to get a running start when you... Yeah, we already know how to do that. Kind of incidentally found it out. Um... Oh, is that just like a quicker way up here now? Or was that already an option before and I just missed it? You know what I think? Throw some rocks at these plants. How did you miss? It was aimed directly at him. Bruh. <laughs> Thank you. I guess you just can't hit like the top of it. My bad. I thought that it didn't matter what part of the weird plant thing we threw it at. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Overwrite. I don't care. There's a hair on my water bottle. Go away. Thank you. I've also noticed that I've been like thirsty as shit recently, man. I don't know what's up with that. If I can reach uh, that floodgate, I did have some orange juice earlier water. though, so my sugar's probably a little bit higher than the normal. I only drank like half a cup because I try not to drink too much sugar or, or eat too much sugar rather, um, or drink I guess either one. Anyways, uh, but yeah, no, I, I really like orange juice. And I haven't had any in a long time, so I did have like half a cup of that. That might be why I'm so thirsty at the moment and okay it's official we can't swim we can only wade through water apparently <laughs> well fuck me i'm happy that we saved right before that i can reach that floodgate. honeyed ham with pineapple gravy i would try it i'm not gonna lie honeyed ham not my personal favorite i'm not a big uh like sweet and savory mixer same with like pineapple gravy you know i've never had pineapple gravy but it sounds like it would be a sweet savory mixture but i am down to try basically anything so yeah dude you put some uh pineapple gravy honey ham in front of me and you bet your boy is gonna fucking eat it like <laughs> and even with that said like i said it's not my favorite honeyed ham but i can still eat it like i don't think it's terrible it's not pineapple on pizza <laughs> I'm joking. I can eat pineapple on pizza. I just don't know why you would desecrate a pizza like that. Can we go over here? Or is this going to be too too deep too? I think we good. Never had it, but want to try it. Do like some honeyed ham. Like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's not my favorite. You know, like, I've never had like a homemade honeyed ham or anything that I can think of. But, uh, like, honey ham slices for sandwiches and shit like that, as an example, you know? Just not my favorite. Stream, you keep this up, we gonna have issues? <laughs> uh, my bad. You've heard of squirrel gravy, but pineapple? What's squirrel gravy? What? Someone enlighten me. Uh... We're, we're, we're so fucked. <laughs> There's, like, no forward momentum whenever you, you swing your sword at something. Like, I feel like... I, I I feel like in games like Legend of Zelda or something like that... Um... 
like whenever you swing your sword, you kind of like reach forward toward whatever you're you're swinging at, right? You know, to make it a little bit easier. This one here, you just kind of stop wherever you're at and swing. Like even whenever you're running, like you just kind of stop in place. So you got to make sure that you're within range before you try to actually hit it. What do we get? Anything cool? Just just some monies, some silver coins, silver pennies, whatever they call them. Ham is basically the only meat you like with sweetness. You've done it with honey and maple syrup. See, for me, I guess the only one that I like with sweetness is bacon. And even then, it's not my preferred way of eating it. Like, I can eat uh, sweet bacon and like, it's fine. Uh, and in some instances, I even like it, but like, uh, yeah, sweet ham. I, I prefer a savory, slightly salty ham because uh, I did figure out recently that you can have ham that's too salty. <laughs> New to when I bought a ham and, uh, you know, cooked it in the oven and whatnot. And it was very good, actually. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but it was a bit too salty. That part is true. Something your friend's family makes. It's literally made out of squirrel brains. I'd try it. Sounds a little weird. A gravy made of brains. But like, whatever. I don't think I've ever actually eaten brain before. I've eaten a lot of animal parts. But I don't think I've ever eaten brain. I'm a little iffy about eating brains in general though. Not because like... Like it's, to me it's still just, you know, it's meat or whatever. But uh, eating brains of animals uh, increases the risk of prion disease, which is something that, like, you know, I'd rather not have. <laughs> I don't think all animals carry uh, prions that can infect humans, though, I don't think. I know cows can, because that was the whole, like, mad cow disease scare. Um, but yeah. Perhaps I could make my way across. Melted cheese with chunky tomato broth? See, that sounds good. I like tomatoes. I like tomato soup. I like chunks of tomato. I like cheese. I like melted cheese. <laughs> this all sounds good. Uh, also, these wolves and whatever those weird frog-looking creatures are are fighting each other. So I say we just let them duke it out. Oh, they're all dead now. Uh, so about that. <laughs> Am I gonna hit this rope or? What? No, we hit him. There we go. That music cut in a very weird spot. Also, it kind of reminded me of like uh, God of War for a second. The music did. Kind of weird. Yeah, go go back to your your standing spot and just sit there for a moment, so I can beat you with this rock. <laughs> Also confirmed, those mushrooms are healing mushrooms, so. He's country boy, so are we surprised? And same noodle, that's the emote I wanted, but I don't have it. Uh, uh, if you're on Windows, hold. Right, click in the, the chat box thing. Hold the Windows key and press period. You're welcome. That's all you need to do. Yeah, we grew up in the country, too. Not, like... Not, like, super country, I guess. But, like, I, I grew up in the country. You know, we hunted and savvy so all different kinds of animal parts and meats and stuff like that. Good stuff. Fuck. And, uh, yes, Noodle, I did finish the beef jerky. That's why I made sure to tell you earlier that I ate all the snacks. And, uh, to get more if you wanted them. Because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ate all that beef jerky. It was good. I'm sorry, Noodle. Thanks, bro. You're welcome, Rue. Happy to help, man. I don't remember why I knew that. Because I don't use... Why? Well, I, I don't know. I guess when I'm texting, I do use emojis. But, like, I hardly ever message from my computer. Outside of, you know, Discord. But... For one reason or another, <laughs> I knew that hockey, so you're welcome. Happy to uh, share the knowledge. We all float down here. 
I've never seen it, man. The the first one or the remake. Like, or the first one? The original or the remake, I mean. You said snacks, you thought you meant the Fungians? I mean, I did mean the Fungians, but I meant all the snacks. Including the beef jerky. Again, I apologize. If you want me to get more jerky, let me know. I'll try to remember to buy you some jerky or something. Neither have you, or at least you don't remember it because it scarred you for life. Is it that bad? Like, I, I know people have said it's scary. I, I think Noodle's one of those people that, what, you, like, read the book or, or watched it or something like that and thought that it was scary? I don't remember. But, uh, I've never, I've never seen it, man. Or read it, for that matter. It just doesn't seem that scary to me, but I'm also, like, I like horror movies and things like that, but they don't really scare me usually and i'm not trying to be like macho or anything like that it's just like it's a book or a movie or whatever i don't see the point in being scared it's, it's not real also were we supposed to go the other way around uh we were supposed to go the other way around we we totally just cheesed that section my bad <laughs> uh oops let's try to jump back across and hopefully not fucking fall in the water and die because we haven't saved in a little while which reminds me we should totally go and save and before we die trying to grab this rope okay we're good g fucking g we we are good what kind of beef jerky it was the uh just great value jerky nothing fancy just original great value it's pretty decent and it's cheaper than like jack links and shit so you don't deserve jerky why don't you deserve jerky You watched as a kid and the bloody sink bubble freaked you out for a while. I don't I don't know that scene, so <laughs> that doesn't mean anything to me. But I'm sorry that it freaked you out. Two words, fluck fluck clowns. <laughs> oh, that's not how you spelled it. I just can't speak. Oh no. You haven't watched it in years and the book you never finished, it's so long. I feel like a lot of his books are super long, right? Stephen King? I could be mistaken, but aren't most of them pretty, pretty, uh, pretty long ordeals? Honestly, other than, rather than jumping over all those things there, I feel like my cheese strat was easier. <laughs> Hand pies? Yeah, they're like little miniature pies that you eat with your hands. Those are, those are real things, right? Unless I'm thinking of something else. Are they made of hands? Like... <laughs> There's a bubble that slowly comes out of the sink drain and it's blood and pops everywhere. Okay. Yeah, that sounds pretty gross. <laughs> I, can, I can see why that would maybe scar a uh, small child. Maybe. Oh, this looks perfectly safe, man. Do you see a... Uh... This is a giant ass whirlpool that we're gonna have to jump through, jump over. I'm sure absolutely nothing will go wrong. You know, it's weird. I watched the Hobbit movies like probably a good four, five, six times at least. I don't remember any of these sections. I don't remember fighting thorny plants or uh, jumping across a whirlpool of water. Or, or drowning in a lake. <laughs> they sound delicious, Nate. What all is in those ones? Are they like fruit ones or meat ones? Yeah, if I remember correctly, though, IRL, like in real life, they were super popular for uh, like people going out to work in the fields or in the mines or whatever. The, the wives would make them pies. Um, or like take the, the fruit jams or, or meats or whatever. Sometimes both actually, what they would do is they would put meat on one side and then put like a little crease in it and put the other side of fruits and jams, right? Um, and it was a way for them to kind of take their food with them before, you know, like refrigeration and cans and all that sort of shit. Uh, and yeah. 
So you would have like savory on one side, fruity on the other or whatever. But that's just from memory. I could be wrong. But I think... Oh, good job. Good fucking job, dude. Uh, I forgot you don't jump the way the camera's facing. You jump the way your character's facing. Oh, God, that reminds me of the episode of Supernatural where a dude repairing a sink got his hand messed up when the ghost turned on the garbage disposal. I don't remember that specific episode, but I've seen stuff like that in movies before, and that's fucking... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to this day, I will admit that garbage disposals do freak me out just a little bit for that very reason, man. Seeing stuff like that happen in movies. I don't feel like we can jump to that one. That one looks too far away. So we're just waiting. You're already freaked out about mirrors at night, so you turn on the lights before you go in a bathroom. So that kind of added a new little fear. <laughs> she is. She even, like, yells at me whenever I go to the bathroom or into the bathroom. I don't go to the bathroom without the light on. But whenever, like, I walk or stand in the bathroom and don't turn the light on, she'll yell at me. Like... <laughs> Like, bro, I'm not the one with a, with a, uh, a mirror fear here. Like, <laughs> I'm fine. There's a reason you do blanket burritos, people. As bacon, ground beef, garlic, potatoes, thyme, some other stuff, all wrapped in double crust pie dough. Yeah, that sounds pretty sick, man. Like, really fucking good. A nice savory pie. I love savory pies, too. Like, pot pies are fucking delicious, man. <laughs> Like, honestly, some of the best food out there. I like savory food in general, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> of course, I like my sweets, don't get me wrong, but, like, savory is where it's at. Why is there a random coin purse on that, uh, mountain ledge? Also, I just noticed, like, the music kind of kicked up there for a second and then just randomly stopped, like... It has this game's uh got some weird like music cues and triggers and shit. You're gonna love this pick. What pick to this day? It's why I fear them. Something's gonna get you. <laughs> Nothing's gonna get me. It's just a mirror. The doctor uh trapped someone in there. And that's where all the weird shadows and shit come from. It's fine. You just got invited to play Phasmophobia? Play some Phasmophobia, bro. Can't go back now. Oh my. Gotta make some elven bread. That's just flatbread, right? Mutton yesterday, mutton today, and fly me, it don't look like mutton again tomorrow. Not okay. Who's gonna Three sit around and complain about eating mutton? Like, Shut your mouth. granted, I've never actually it's had mutton, but like, I, I've heard it's pretty good. <laughs> <gasps> Three wicked, huge trolls. Oh, Nana is asleep. I, I ah, dwarves. that sucks. Oh, but they'll just say that a really first-class burglar would have picked the troll's pockets. Oh, wait, a pocketbook. I could sneak past them when they aren't looking and take it. Oh, wow. I'll need to stay away from those noisy leaves, though. I'm pretty sure if you told all the dwarves that, like, hey, look, there's a shit ton of trolls over there, they would believe you. I don't think you need to steal their pocketbook for them to believe it, man. I don't remember the order that we've been saving in, so I'm just, like, doing random ones. This one, the one in this is a cinnamon bread? Oh, okay. I like cinnamon bread. <laughs> Honestly, you're making me kind of want uh, toast with sugar cinnamon, sh cinnamon sugar toast. Specifically brown sugar. I don't know if y'all have ever tried brown sugar on toast with some butter before. And then uh, a little sprinkle of cinnamon, but it's uh, A+. Plus. It's good shit, man. One of my favorite, uh, like, breakfast sweets. Ah, oh, we don't have our stick. Gotta get out our sticky stick. She wants in so bad, and she does that any time your door is closed. I'm guessing there's a picture of your cat, then. Our cats are annoying like that. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love my cats, of course. But, uh, my lord, can they be annoying. Oh, were we seen? Come here, you nasty oh, yeah, rabbit. we were seen. <laughs> it looks tasty. 
What is it? All right, so we need to be a little careful, I guess. That dude was uh, running around uh, to, to get us. People don't do that normally. Don't do what? I'm confused. Did I say something? Dude, they have D&D tavern menus in here. You're going to have to use them in game. That's a really cool idea. Yeah. Makes sense. Like, if you're going to have a cookbook, you might as well have put, like, a whole menu. Or tavern menus in there or whatever, right? What you need to do is just start a uh, tavern IRL and just cook all D&D foods. <laughs> Noodle can show me later. Fuck you, Bert. <laughs> You adopted a cat for your mom for her birthday. She's a little bitch hates me, but it's up my sister's ass 24-7. Yeah, pumpkin. Pumpkin and noodle don't get along so well. Hi, Bert. <laughs> Wait, are you are you supposed to be sitting? Uh what are you what are you doing? Are you gonna move? Okay, thank goodness. So you want to in a way start up a little restaurant wait did I get seen again no okay holy shit I thought <laughs> for a second I thought it saw me I was like aren't we behind the bushes here I was very confused Oh my lord, this is a hard-ass chest. Oh shit. Done fuck that one up. Bruh, I am definitely clicking it on the fucking green. I'm so mad. What? Fuck you, game. It's gotta be OBS lag. Yeah, it's definitely, because I clicked it in the red. Either that or the game is just fucking trash. There we go. Thank goodness, man. All that for a little coin purse? Like, shit. Your cat hates your cousin and aunt. Like, if they get anywhere near her, she's hissing and biting at them. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Our cats just kind of get scared of people whenever they're around. Like, they, they slowly warm up to people in the house or whatever, but, yeah. Generally speaking, they're just, they're just not big fans of people. You'll walk past your sister's bed and she'll bop my toes, hiss, growl, and scream. Oh, for the whole dinner slash game shop thing. Yeah, we've talked about that before. What the fuck? There's no way. They weren't even looking at me. Fuck, dude. What is it? It's annoying as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this shit again, bruh. Oh, pull out the stick, please. Monthly or bi-monthly theme? That does sound like a good idea, man. I agree with, uh... I agree with Rue. Although, I think we've talked about it a little bit before. Like, I've definitely heard of this. That's the sort of thing I've always wanted to do, too. Let's have like a uh, a shop to play. Uh, oh god, like a uh, internet cafe, basically, but with like proper food. That's kind of what I've always wanted to do. Why can't we skip this dude walking over here? I guess they want us to know that Bert has moved places. Jellico is very vocal, but she's a perfect ling little angles angel, so it was cute. She has an old lady meow. She did have an old lady meow. That's very true. I just realized every time we hit one of the red sections, we get hurt. Oh, no. Just every time we fuck it up in general, we get hurt. Nice. So we could, we could potentially die here. Ah, oh, bro. We were so fucking close. We got it. Holy shit. She tolerates everyone else, but adores her sister and cousin's room. Oh, and your cousin's boyfriends. And your best friend, Jonathan. So just hates your aunt. What did they do <laughs> to that poor cat? 
That's the real question. Why? You know? It's your long-term goal in life? I feel that, man. Look, whenever I, like, make millions doing fucking Bert. <laughs> Whenever I make millions on a, a video game that I work on for like 20 years before it ever gets finished, then uh, then I'll invest in, in your restaurant. How about that? <laughs> just, uh, just don't hold your breath because, yeah, actually finishing a game to put out is, uh, yeah, it might take a little while, man. <laughs> Though, uh, to his, uh, Jonathan's credit, he has been working a little bit on pixel art lately. So that's good. That's good. The man has been busy, of course, with the with the child and everything. But uh, he's he's been getting into it a little bit, working on it. Got to give credit where credit's due, you know? Gary is like Gary the Snail. He's so loud and Katie chitters and mostly squeaks. Yeah. I mean, Katie is pretty quiet most of the time. Like, she hardly ever makes vocal noises. But when she does, it's a, a quiet chitter and or a little tiny quiet meow. Fuck, we're, we're dead. Fuck! Fuck, dude. Oh! So close again. You have no idea, and that's what Blank wants to know. <laughs> then again, my aunt still denies pushing me down the stairs as a kid. You were a little shit back then? I mean, even if you're a little shit, that's no reason to be literally pushed down the stairs, though, you know? Like, that's a bit extreme, man. <laughs> like, you could straight up kill someone that way. Even weirder about... That is that blank, don't remember it, but my cousins vividly do. Hmm. So wait. So if nobody's watching this section now, can I just run through here safely? Or like... So what I want to do is go back and save again, so we at least don't have to do that shit over again that we've already done. Ideally, dreamwise, get a good bit of land in a no-zoning area and build it and my house on it. Realistically, you've looked at some decent-sized buildings that need some work around here. Hell yeah, dude. I'll tell you what, man. If you get, like, a nice little diner or something going, I'd be there all the fucking time. In town. I really wish we had, like, a 24-7 diner or something like that in town. Because that's the type of place that I'd be, like, unable to sleep at 5 o'clock in the morning or something. And just go and get some pancakes and sausages or something. Nice little, nice little something, something to, to munch on. So yeah, he's all the way over there. Can I just like... Oh no, okay, he saw me. <laughs> There's the other ones there. I completely fucking missed him. The other ones, I mean. Bert, weren't you like on the other side of the fucking area? How the hell did you come and get me? Shouldn't have been one of the other ones. goes nuts over pumpkin yeah we give our cats our canned pumpkin yeah it's a uh, from what we've read it's good for uh, like it's a good source of fiber for them to help them be more regular with the bathroom and since one of them uh, likes to shit places they're not supposed to we figured something like that would probably help her out a bit um, and yeah it, she just fucking loves it too like she really really likes it <laughs> The other one likes it too. Like the other, uh, Gary eats it, but Katie fucking loves it, man. Oh, the blanks are an eye, to, but to emphasize the story, makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> I was wondering why there was just a random uh, letter I in the middle of it, but uh, my my mind is too dead to have put that together right then and there. So, uh, <laughs> to me, it was just blank. <laughs> Pretty sure the only reason she wished you a happy birthday is because you happened to pick up the phone when she called your grandmother. That's awesome, man. Like, I'm sorry. 
Bruh, we can't sneak. We can't run. How the fuck do we get past this dude? It looks tasty. So far, other than like a little bit of jankness, this game's been pretty decent. But this Burt dude is pissing me the hell off. <laughs> There's a mushroom tea recipe, Nate. I, uh... Huh. I don't know. I was gonna say I don't know about that, but I guess if it's like a, uh... Like a broth, you know? Like a mushroom broth or something like that, it probably would be pretty decent, actually. Katie is so bad, she is bad. Love her, of course, but she is a fucking bitch. <laughs> I cleaned the litter box. We had to put her in the cage with our litter box until she uses it. We do. We do have to do that. Just fucking run for it or something, man. Yeah, fucking duck. Okay. I think we're okay, question mark? Last year, nothing, and she still hasn't congratulated you on graduation You're of junior college. That's shitty, dude. I'm sorry you got to put up with shit like that. What? Bro, we didn't even move. We were ducked behind that rock. Like, he was just standing there, and we were ducked behind the rock. How the hell did he see us? This is annoying, dude. <laughs> the fuck? I'm sure, like, there's an easy way to do it, and I'm just missing something. I also hate stealth missions and games. I don't really play stealth games either. So like, yeah, it's just not my style of thing going on here right now. All right, duck behind this rock till he comes back over and then we'll just fucking book it. You okay? You don't know how you feel about it, Nate? What's all it got in it? Is it just like water and mushrooms? Like boiling water and mushrooms? Or is there more to it than that? So like I said, if it's like a mushroom broth sort of deal, then like I think I would like it, right? Fuck, okay, that, you know what, that one was fair. That was fair. <laughs> we went too far. I totally see why he caught us that time. Your grandma's positive they resent you because she had to basically raise you. Do you think that side of the family just straight up hates you? I mean, there's like no reason for it though, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. I don't know, man. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate it. I like watching all your little bits fall down the screen. Scream? Screen. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank goodness the stream's almost over because uh, your boy's getting stupid over here. Also, I can't see shit. Why'd the camera get so close? Fucking run for it, Mr. Hobbit, sir. Stream go to bed. Like, I don't even feel that tired. It's just like, I'm just fucking dead, dude. Okay. Go. Go. All right. And then they said something about don't step on the leaves. Oh, there's a dude literally right there. So yeah, don't step on the leaves. That would be bad, I, I presume. Alright, jump for it. And yes, yes they are. Getting to be... What do you mean? I'm never... Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Apparently we can step on some leaves and not get caught. That was weird. I mean, I, I'm fine with a little bit of leniency. Like, <laughs> Lord knows we need it, man. Uh. Okay, that was an easy one at least, thank goodness. This looks like a long jump, so. Oh, fuck. That was scary. Oh, thank goodness a save point. Oh, I thought we were fucking caught, dude. I was gonna be so pissed. <laughs> it's like after all that work. I bet I can tiptoe past him while he yawns. All right, we're gonna save here. We're just gonna call it right here. We're five minutes away, so fuck it. Kombu water, shiitake mushroom, soy sauce, salt, sake, and scallions. 
Yeah, that's straight up a uh, broth, dude. <laughs> Which is fine. I'm totally fine drinking broth, you know? Like, whenever you're sick, making a little bit of chicken broth or something like that. For, like, boil up a cup of water, drop a boiling cube down in there. That's perfect. It's a little bit salty, but, like, when you're sick, who gives a fuck, you know? You need, you need the electrolytes. Soy sauce? Rue, you seem so... <laughs> like, in disbelief. Like, how could they put soy sauce in it? I love soy sauce. I put soy sauce in everything. I put a little bit of soy sauce in my uh, no-meat chili that I made tonight. Just adds a nice umami to it, you know? A little bit of meatiness without actual meat. Of course, I did uh, use a bit of beef broth. So, like, there's some meatiness from that, too. But, like, uh, yeah, a little bit of soy sauce. Mm, and MSG. Gotta put MSG in everything. I love MSG as a seasoning. It's legit amazing. And it's so dumb that, like, it has such a bad uh, rep. Posture check and hydrate and stretch. I mean, we're getting ready to end the stream, so I don't know why you're telling me all this now, but I, I gladly will. Give me, like, three seconds, man. Here we go. Felt good to crack the back, though. I'll tell you that much. Where, oh, where is my juice? There it is. Uh, a little bit of drinky drink. And posture. Check. <laughs> uh, thank you for the reminder, noodles. Noodles. Thank you for the reminders, noodle. Oh, Jesus, man. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's time to go. <laughs> Cinnamon stick, cloves, water, ginger, honey, blackberry, or bosonberry jam, and some salt. That does sound pretty good. That's uh, just like as a drink. You just mix it with some water or something like that. Oh yeah, water. I see that in the list now. I probably said that out loud, but it just went right over my head. I'm like, completely missed it. When you said, here we go, I was waiting for you to be like a workout coach and stretch. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Just letting you know that I was going to do it. And drink. And stretch. And drink. No, that's fucking... <laughs> oh, God. All right, guys. Uh, Thank you for hanging out with me a little bit while we had this uh, little bit lower energy stream tonight with, with The Hobbit. Pretty decent game. Other than that that section there with what's his name, I uh I I had some fun with it. Like I wouldn't mind playing a little bit more of that. It's not gonna be on the list of things to do like right away, but eventually, you know. Do we have to end? I don't wanna do stats. I'm sorry, Rue, we do. We do have to end. If no other reason then Noodle and I are still slowly, very, very slowly preparing for our house inspection that we have uh coming up here in a week. And uh, tonight we have to get rid of our old furniture that we've just been putting off on. Like, we had it all, you know, picked up and set off to the side of one room to be ready to get rid of. And we just haven't got around to it. So that's what we have to do tonight is put it on the curb so that it can be picked up tomorrow. Yeah, the uh, ho city housing inspector is checking the house because our uh, landlord has to renew their license or whatever. So... They have to come through and make sure that the house is still acceptable enough to be rented. Yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. So, we've been slowly working on just, like, straightening things up and whatnot. It's The house isn't all that bad, but there's little things like getting rid of that furniture. Uh, Noodle had to clean up the spare room that's supposed to be her room, but when she was quote-unquote straightening things up, like, a year ago, over a year ago, she kind of made more of a mess of it, so <laughs> so she had to straighten that out, and then there's just, like, little home repair stuff that we have to do. Why the furniture, though? Just to get it out of the house, because it's, you know, cluttering it up. It's old furniture, it's, yeah, a little bit broken. Technically, one of the two things isn't broken. Like, the, the couch is broken, but the love seat or whatever you call it that goes with it is fine, but, uh, like, it's a set, so... Yeah, just gonna get rid of both of them. Then I, we have a couple old appliances, too, that 
couldn't really put down the garbage cans and just stuff like that, you know, just old stuff to get rid of. But anyways, uh, again, thank you all for coming and hanging out with me tonight while we had a little bit more of this uh, chill, low energy stream. And today is Thursday, so we'll see you again tomorrow night with something. I don't know what game we're playing yet, but it'll be PS2 related. <laughs> so uh, I hope to see you all there and have a, uh, a wonderful night, I guess. Bye bye. Your favorite. Favorites there on your list of second most played games, especially Fable 2. A lot of people hate it on Fable 3, but you love the changes they did. I was gonna ask which one your favorite was. You kinda answered it for me there, though. Take care of it.